What's up? How are you guys? I just woke up and uh, we're going to do the same thing I do every morning. Hobble around in a haze of confusion and take some mastic gum and drink some water to hydrate. So we got our mastic powder here, OregonSupplements.com, before I have to uh, work until I'm 90 years old. I'm gonna work until I'm 90 anyway. Maybe I can retire before I'm 120. All right, so I'll, I'm just gonna drink the rest of this water over the course of the next half hour or so. I don't have to rush down to work today, but I do have to uh, go see a farm property. So I gotta leave in like 45 minutes. I mean, I haven't really been eating breakfast, but once a week I will do the testicle smoothie and I have been doing some flex dress and some things here and there, some electrolytes on some occasions. But we'll talk about that a lot more next week. Uh, I'll see you guys for lunch. All right, guys, I just got home from work to have lunch. I kind of rushed today, hoping that there was going to be some sun left because it's around 1.30 p.m. now. But as usual, the summer of smog prevails in blocking the sun. So we should be getting some new bulbs for my tanning bed soon so that should kind of alleviate that issue went to see a farm earlier wasn't too happy because the neighbor literally had a five grams tower on the property although the farm was perfect but like what are you supposed to do you like buy the property file a lawsuit against the telecom i don't, I don't it just seems like it's a no-go like even if the property is perfect if there's a five gram tower right next to it on the neighbor's property then i i, I don't know too. but uh, that's what i spent today doing we drove over the farm Went to the warehouse, did a little work, picked up some food for lunch. So we got some fresh ground chuck. We're gonna have some burgers for lunch with our Vichy Soie soup that's up here in the fridge. We're just gonna put that in a bowl. Been having usually like collagen broth with roast beef for lunch when I don't feel like cooking, but I do wanna change the pace because I've had roast beef and prime rib for like two weeks straight. Sometimes I will actually have beans on the side for lunch. That's what I'll eat if I don't have the Vichy Soie. And of course, we have our homemade bread. I made this yesterday. I bought a toaster for lunch specifically because after like a day or two, this bread isn't as good. It's, it's really only delicious on the first day. So what I'll do is I'll you know cut four slices, put it in the toaster, and that'll warm it up for lunch and make it uh, a bit more enjoyable. So we're going to do that. I don't know. This... It was like the cheapest toaster on it. This thing gets so hot, like you can't touch the side of it. I mean, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be, but it seems like a safety hazard. Chuck looks good, you know, it's just your classic 80-20 freshly ground chuck. You know, most ground beef isn't only chuck, they throw a bunch of scraps in there, so that's why this is a little more expensive on frankiestrangemeat.com, but it's gonna be, you know, your basic go-to burger. Our best burger blend has like some ribeye and skirt steak and, and, and some more flavorful cuts in there. So it's a bit more tender, but uh, this is pretty good as well. So we'll just put a little bit of oil in our green pan. Guys, these are non-toxic, non-stick pans. You guys missed the video on those. I'm gonna press our patties down a little bit. We have our ocean salt, which we're almost out of actually. So we'll get salt side down, salt side down, smash these down a little bit. We can cover this because uh, I need a tight the lid because this is going to set off my smoke alarm really fast. So this is an overnight sourdough bread. I mix the flour with the water and the mother starter. I put it in the dehydrator for like eight hours and then I just leave it at room temperature for eight hours then we cook it in the morning. Uh, the main difference is that this bread uh, has been made with a little bit of butter and thyme. So I take like a little bit of thyme and salt and I saute it in the pan for a bit and then I mix that into the dough to give it some more aromatic and flavor. So we have our nice balanced meal of protein, starch, and fiber. Of course, guys, the ground chuck I showed you, protein, amino acids, cholesterol, all that good stuff even leaner beef has plenty of saturated fat for your body this is the potato leek vichy soie that we made last saturday for you guys i like this much more than the beans it's just kind of hard out here to find like organic potatoes and organic onions that are fresh with the 
sourdough bread as the starch source and the potatoes and the onions, although they're a good source of fiber and carbohydrates, they don't necessarily have like the soaking properties that grains do pertaining to bile. So when your liver releases bile for digestion, if it's just like a bunch of potatoes and steak, there's not that much for it to soak into. But if you have bread, starch, rice, grains, oats, it's an excellent kind of sponge for the, the bile. So that's why we have bread in addition to the Vichy Soie. Also very, very high in minerals. Potatoes are a great source of all different types of minerals. Of course, we're feeding the gut bacteria. We don't have water kefir and water kefir grains this meal. Uh, I've been taking a break. I was really, really heavy on the water kefir for about two weeks to kind of fix my stomach after moving from New York, but now we're feeling better. Although we do have the organic water kefir and water kefir grains available back on frankiesurianfoods.com. It's not something that you know you have to take every single day all the time, but if your stomach's a bit messed up, you might need it for a few weeks. And then like if you go out and cheat or take a break from it, you might find that you need it again. So I would say it's two to three weeks on, one week off with the water kefir and the kefir grains. You have peeled honey crisp apple for dessert. And as with every meal, guys, I have my powdered masticum that's available on organ supplements. Uh, yesterday I took some vitamin K2. I've been wanting to take some zinc recently, but uh, what I've always been taking is the charcoal with dinner, which we'll show you guys later. So I'll give everything a little taste. Uh, burger meat's pretty much raw in the middle. Pretty good. Nice texture. Can't go wrong with ground chuck. And for the Vichy Swap. This is served cold, right from the fridge. Absolutely delicious. A lot of onion flavor. Very silky, velvety. And we also have that collagen broth in here, so there's a lot of amino acids in this Vichy Swa. Very delicious. Yeah, so a pinch of thyme in the bread is nice for like a savory application if you think you're gonna have it for lunch or dinner or what you could even do, and what I wanna do is put like some vanilla or cinnamon in the bread and then you can have it for breakfast. And I like doing a little bit of masticum in the beginning of the meal and then we'll do more at the end. Everything's really good. Delicious, homemade, organic, high quality. I've been trying to do like half a pound to three quarters of a pound of beef per meal. The bread's nice. You know, since we made it yesterday, the toaster really helps to bring some life back to it. Yeah, so guys, I'm gonna chill out and enjoy my lunch because I've been in front of a camera like half the day for the past two weeks, I'm over it, but yeah, I don't know about that farm stuff. It's in a good location because it was like a beef farm that was 45 minutes closer to the city, but I don't know what to do with these tower situations. I guess I'm just gonna have to wait, wait to find something that doesn't have a tower on it. You know, cause I woke up, I felt good. And then I was walking on this farm for like an hour and I could tell what the, you know, my brain was fried. And as soon as I left the farm, I felt a little better. I didn't bring my meter with me, but I had a great, great cell signal right next to that tower. Uh, but we'll see you guys for uh, for dinner. All right, guys, I did a few hours of work on my computer. Now we're gonna have dinner. So I just got my pan covered on the heat to boil some water for our udon noodles. These are the Hakubaku organic udon noodles. We'll have these on the website next week. If you guys haven't been able to get these near you. And with our noodles, we have a white bean puree. So this is nutritionally complete. I know it doesn't look that good. It looks like cat food. However, <laughs> we took some Iberico pork tenderloin. We got it nice and caramelized in a pan. 
And then I blended that Iberico pork tenderloin up with some cannellini beans, some of the artichoke spread. There's some collagen broth in here. So we have the protein from the pork. We have a lot of amino acids in the collagen broth. We have the fiber and the gut motility from the cannellini beans. And we have some more flavor and some more fiber from the artichoke. There's a little salt in here, a little bit of coconut oil, and it's a perfect accompaniment to the pasta noodles as this is like a starch source and that basically has everything else in the meal. So it's a super nice, easy way for me to have dinner every night. You know, just boil these for four minutes, put it in the bowl with this, and uh, we're good to go. Having the honey crisp apple for dessert. I'll show you guys the, uh, the meal when we're sitting down. Some concoctions over here. We got some new products coming in the next week or two, guys. So I'm excited. Flexos is gonna be in a new container and uh, we'll have something that I think you guys will like. So yeah, there's a decent amount of prep that you guys haven't seen me do. You know, that Vichy Soie takes a few hours to make one day, but that's like my lunch for the week. The bread takes about an hour to do every three days. And that puree takes about half an hour to do once a week. So the overall time investment for these meals it's not that high, but like if I was to do every single thing in one day, then yeah, we spend like a few hours cooking. All right, so after about three minutes and 30 seconds, the pasta is cooked. What I'll do is I'll pour most of the water off, but then I'll keep like a decent amount of water and I'll put it in with the sauce. <laughs> not, not that easy to film and do this at the same time. a mess that I don't normally do. It's a little tricky, but if I just put a little bit of the, the starchy water and undercook the pasta a little bit, the whole thing ends up turning out perfect. Then we basically just have a big bowl of udon noodles for dinner. And we're gonna have charcoal, masticum, usually have some vitamin B1 as well. I forgot to turn my uh, dehumidifier and air filter off for dinner, so hopefully the background noise wasn't too high. You probably noticed it a little more now. But since this video is not going to be too much longer, I'm not going to bother to turn it off. I'll just try this for you guys. I do not get tired of this meal. Although, as long as it's once a day, we're cool. I wouldn't want to eat this twice a day. I tried it once and like the second time I made it, I didn't really want to eat it. Now the ground Iberico pork tenderloin is pretty expensive, but I'm having a quarter pound per meal, so it's not that crazy. I usually just drink the Fuji water. If I run out, like which happens maybe once in a blue moon, I will drink the Mountain Valley, but I do use the Mountain Valley to cook the noodles and everything in, so. Like all the bread and everything else is made with Mountain Valley water. You know, I was eating regular Italian Durham wheat pasta for a while, which was still messing on my liver, so. This is very important on the liver detox diet that the source of wheat you're consuming is a whole wheat. That it's not a whole wheat or an heirloom grain. So this type of white flour-based noodle is the safest and really the only one I found I could eat. The other grains you guys see me eat that are safe are, you know, I make the bread with white flour. In the winter, I'll have barley. For breakfast, I'll have oats. Those are generally pretty safe. Rice I'll have once in a while. Rice isn't that bad. Quinoa. It's okay. But that pasta sauce, the paste I make is just, you know, everything you need in it. The protein, the amino acids, as I said, soluble fiber. It's basically a perfect puree concoction for giving your body the nutrients it needs and for detoxing the liver. Sometimes I'll even take that out for lunch and dip some bread in it. The sun did come out a little bit, so from like two o'clock to four o'clock, I was laying outside. All right, so I'm gonna take vitamin B1 and a little bit of mastic gum. Now the crazy thing is, even if I started this diet before I was carnivore, who knows how long it would have taken me to fix my liver. Carnivore just made it progressively worse. 
I actually ate most of that pasta. That's probably the first time I've eaten that much in like three weeks, so. Usually I only finish about two thirds of it. So we're gonna take three charcoal capsules with a little more masticum. And the reason for that is because when you go to sleep and lie down, there's no downward gravity, you know, pushing food through your stomach. So when I'm lying in bed, all that food and the bile from my liver is kind of just sitting there. Normally throughout the day, you know, you stand up, you're moving, that stuff goes through and it doesn't sit there and give you any issues. But before bed, having the charcoal in your stomach to absorb those toxins is very helpful overnight. All that stuff, guys, Masticum B1 uh, charcoal is available on OregonSupplements.com. That's basically it, guys. I'm just gonna finish my apple and uh, I guess I'll do another hour to work on my computer then actually go to bed early for once. My schedule's been a little messed up lately, but if you guys go to frank-defano.com, you will see all of my businesses where you can support me further. And we got all that stuff on Frankie's Strange Meat, guys, the, um, the ground shock, we have the Iberico pork tenderloin, lots of stuff on Frankie's Strange Foods too, organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals, Definitely a lot of interesting products. So, you know, just take a look at the website, guys. Look around, see what you like, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. So, as always, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys soon.